SolidWorks 2009 now lets you fully define your sketches as you create each entity. It does this by allowing you to type their exact size using real dimensions as they're being sketched. This is made possible by a new option called Numeric Sketch Input. To activate Numeric Sketch Input, I'll go to Options, Sketch, and check the box that says Enable On-Screen Numeric Input on Entity Creation. To demonstrate how this works, I'll start a new sketch and activate the Line Tool. I'll click once to start it, and as I move the pointer away, you'll see a Dimension Input field appear. Before I click again to place the line, I can type in a value and press Enter to create the line at the size I specified. I can continue sketching a chain of lines, while each time specifying the length for each segment. And while this is a convenient way to create the entities at the size I want them, you probably notice that as I'm finishing each segment, SolidWorks is not adding the driving dimension, and the sketch lines are still left blue or underdefined. And this is because of an option I skipped over when I started the line. I'll delete these real quick and show you. I'll start the line tool again. Notice in the options section, there's an Add Dimensions checkbox. I'll check it and begin sketching the line as I did last time. I'll again type in a value, and this time when I press Enter, an actual driving dimension is displayed. Again, I can continue giving each segment the correct length with the dimension until the sketch is complete. Numeric Sketch Input also works when creating sketch entities that have multiple dimensions. I'll activate the Rectangle tool. Again, notice the Add Dimensions checkbox in the Property Manager that'll let us add the driving dimensions to the sketch automatically. I'll go ahead and click to start the rectangle. Now, right away, you can see two input fields appear for the length and width of the rectangle. The highlighted field is active where you can type in a value. To change to the other input field, I can press either the Tab key or the Enter key, and it becomes active. Now, once I type in a value, I could press the Tab key if I want to toggle back to the other input field. Or if I press Enter one more time, the rectangle will be complete, along with the dimensions. This numeric input as you're sketching also works for circles and other sketch tools. One other interesting thing about dimensions in 2009 is that it's now possible to create zero length and negative dimensions. For example, I can give this dimension a zero length, which will center the circle on the line. Let me undo this for a second. SolidWorks 2009 also lets you reverse dimensions using this icon. This will turn the value into a negative number and move the entity to the opposite side of where it was dimensioned from. I can also simply type in a minus sign in front of the dimension to create the same effect. Note that when I click OK, the dimension is always changed to a positive number, 